One of the reasons um, why I've been either applauded or I've been shamed is that I have very openly talked about heartbreak. And um, I, I feel like this is a topic that we don't talk openly about, but that is really wrong because it is something that actually can have one of the biggest impacts on a human being. And I don't just mean um, getting sad and writing Facebook statuses or like, you know, um, or in my case, sad poetry. I actually mean physically and mentally and psychologically. The amount, the impact that a heartbreak creates is something that is not discussed in our society. And when I got my heart broken right after I moved to Bangladesh, I just didn't know where to turn because I've lived most of my life abroad. And there, that was, it was a little more common because relationships flow a little more there, they happen, they break, people cry, people get happy. Here it's very, you m meet someone, you're with them forever, and if it breaks, it's so big that nobody wants to talk about it, nobody wants to openly acknowledge this. So I, um, I but I didn't know how to hide it. It was on my face, it was on my skin, um, it was in my songs, it was in, in my eyes, and um, I got a lot of, negativity, of course, from, from the society that's not used to talking about something. It wasn't like, talking about heartbreak is not necessarily um, shaming or belittling the person that it, you, you were in love with, but it's actually talking about the impact that it has on you. And so one of the things that really, really helped me in my life was talking about um, getting better, talking about f feeling my heart crash into a million pieces, feeling my, my entire life crash into a million pieces, and then picking those pieces up. And I think one of the things that just, you know, completely, there was a time in my life where I could not sing. Because I was so ashamed to be on stage. I didn't feel like being in front of my audience. So the only thing that got me through would be to write uh, poems about how I felt. And I personally went through, uh, in my humble opinion, quite a great tragedy. I lost several people. I lost my father, I lost my partner. It was some was death, some was worse than death, you know? And um, this medium, this expression of being able to process my thoughts and also so importantly, I think in a in a place like Dhaka that is now so globalized, so up there with every other capital city, every other cosmopolitan city, I have felt that I have created a connection with people who also want to talk about heartbreak. It's not just us musicians and artists, Jara, because It's not just that. There are people from other cities who have messaged me saying, thank you for saying this. Thank you for saying that a person can destroy another person. It's possible. In and it's not so I wanted to okay, that was a long speech. I didn't mean to be that long. But I wanted to read one of my poems before I sang. Untitled. In the collision, chunks broke apart, lying on either sides of the freshly built highway. They shook off the shutters and took off with their bruised bits off their shoulders. I didn't move. My mind, my body, and my heart split in three at first still, like a time lapse as others drove past, over, through me. One day, what I heard intrigued my mind. Another, what I saw, intrigued my body. But my heart, my stubborn heart lay still on the highway. The mind and body took liberties with their freedom, hitchhiking rides into new territories the three together would have never agreed on. Some days, passing through the highway to check on that ever-stuck heart. 
and one day headed off to a new place. They crossed the highway and saw that the heart wasn't there. There was a dent where she had lived. But just a few tiny steps up ahead, they saw her, out of breath, sitting on the edge, breathing in the sky. The body and mind hugged the heart. The brain was with me, said the mind. The legs were with me, said the body. Heart smiled. I'm not like you, mind. Your brain had space for the grief next to the gen. I'm not like you, body. I can't lighten and loosen by taking weights over my head or on my back. In the collide, I fell. And you see all these cars each bumped me. Some yelled, move. Some swerved past to avoid any direct contact. Some wished me well, but I was too heavy to move heavy with each embrace, each promise, each encounter that hung off my curves, hovering yet anchoring me. So I had to wait. They told me what I had to face to clear the space that was once filled with love and in turn anger, regret and finally loss. But one day I left them there. The dent you see are bits of me I couldn't carry anymore. One day I was tired, tired of tears, tired of bored, bored of being broken, and so I crawled. She hugged them back, mind and body. They clicked in place after days and months, like they always knew they would. And now together, again we shall fly. That was, that was me feeling, I, I went to Bandarbon and I was sitting on a hill and I finally felt like I was, I was, I was healing. So this is, was kind of a monumental poem for me. I'm going to end my tiny session by singing you guys a song. I apologize, I'm not feeling very well. Um, but this is a song that also has a beautiful lyric. It's by a friend of mine called Raji Bashraf. And I had I chose to sing somebody else's song today, even though I've tuned it, because once I like like these words that m hopefully will give something to someone else. The words that he wrote. This was actually a Facebook status that he wrote that I turned into a song. It meant a lot to me, and it meant a lot to my healing. It meant a lot to um, accepting that sometimes things don't work out. Sometimes the perfect life that you've imagined for yourself is just a memory. So that's what this song is about. A little bit of acceptance and a little bit of love. Mm. <laughs> आज अनेक दिन पर लिखते गिए भूले गलाम तुम्हार गलार शार कैमून तुम्हार गाए रंग कैमून तुम्हार कथा कैमून तुम्हार मून खारा पेर उजूत निजूत लता कैमून तुम्हार गाए रंग कैमून तुम्हार कथा कैमून तुम्हार मून खारा पेर उजूत निजूत लता आज अनेक दिन पर लिखते गिए भूले गलाम तुम्हार गलार शार भूले गलाम की बात छिलो आपुन ना की पर आज अनेक दिन पर अनेक दिन पर आज अनेक दिन पर अनेक दिन पर That's my bit. Don't forget to be don't be scared to talk about what you feel. That is how you're going to heal. <laughs>